On the last part, we designed a simple movies list, but in our app, the movies view is going to be the face of our app. Because when the users navigate to our app, the first thing that they are going to see is the movies section. And that is why we have designed this section to have cards. And from this section, they can also add items to the card. They can view details of a movie, etc. So let us now go back to Visual Studio and modify the existing design, so the simple list, to use cards to display the movie details. For that, let us go to Visual Studio. In Visual Studio, in the index.c-sharp HTML file, which is the list file for the movies, we are going to remove the existing code. So I'm going to remove all this code. I'm just going to keep the div row. And inside the div row, I'm going to have a for each loop. And for each movie, we are going to load the movie details. So at, and then for each, double tap, var item in model. And the model in this case is an i enumerable of movies. And then inside here, we are going to have the movie card. Now, since designing the HTML bootstrap files is not the focus of this course, I'm just going to copy and paste the design in here. And I'm going to walk you through all the HTML code. And you can find the same file in your GitHub repository with the name movie-card-sample.txt. So I'm just going to paste the code in here. And if you scroll up, we are going to have a card and the card is going to get four spaces in a middle size screen, six in a extra small. We have set the width of this card to be maximum 540 pixels. Then inside this card, we have the card header and in the card header, we are going to have the movie name. And then on the right of that name, we are going to have an icon. The icon is going to use the bi-pencil-square because we want to have the edit icon which the users or the admins can click when they want to update the movie details. Then down here we are going to display the image of the movie. So that is going to be the movie cover image. And the important section or the most informational section is the card body. And in the card body we are going to have the card text classes that we use to display data like the movie description, the cinema where the movie is being played, the category of the movie, when the movie starts and when the movie ends, and the status of the movie. Now this is a calculated property because based on the start date and the end date, the movies are going to have a status. So for example, if the start date is in the future, then in that case, we are going to have the status set as upcoming. Then down here, we also have the card footer. And in the card footer, we are going to have two buttons. The first one is the show details, which is going to redirect us to another page where we can see more details about the movie, like for example, the movie actors, including the actor names and the actor profile pictures. And the other button is add to card. And in the add to card, we are going to also have the price of the movie. So let us run the app to see how this design will look like without having the real data. In here we have just name sample, we have movie name sample, so we don't have the actual data from the movies. I'll just click the play button up here. And then in here go to the movies. You can see that we have a similar design to the final one, which looks like this. So now let us go back to Visual Studio. For that, I'll just close the browser. And then in here now, instead of displaying the movie name sample, I'm going to display the item dot name. So this is going to be the movie name. In the edit button, we are not going to write any code for now. Now let us go to the image URL for the movie. And in here we are going to have at item dot image URL. And the alt is going to be set to be at item dot name. Down here we have the movie description. So at 
item dot description. Then in the cinema, we are going to have at item dot cinema dot name. So the name of the cinema. In the category, we're going to have the item dot category. So movie category. Then we're going to have the start date. So at item dot start date. And then in here we have the item dot end date. The status sample in here is a calculated value. So for that, we are going to add an if condition in here. So if the date time dot now is greater than or equal to the item dot start date and also the date time dot now is less than or equal to the item dot end date then in that case we are going to display the available value so i'm going to use a span and then inside the span i'm going to have the available value otherwise in here we are going to have the upcoming value actually let us change the available to be all capital letters so available and the upcoming capital as well now change the span class to be so class and this is going to be a badge the badge is going to be a background success so we have like a green badge and then the text of the badge is going to be white now let us copy the class in here Control c and then just paste it down here change the bg success to be bg primary and then save the changes now let us run the app and see the result Now here let us go to the movies controller, so movies. And you can see that we get an error. The error that we get in here says that the object reference is not set to an instance of an object. And that's right because we are trying to access a parent property, but the parent property has not been included in the result. So let us stop the app and then go to the movies controller. And in here, after the movies, we are going to also include this cinema information. So include and then n that goes to n dot cinema and then to list async. Now let us run the app one more time. And then in here, go to the movies, so movies. And now you can see that we have all the data that we need. The only problem that we currently have in here is that, for example, in here, this is the date of the movie is not formatted. And it also has like dates in the past. So this is a date in the past. Now, instead of displaying upcoming, we are going to also add another status, let's say expired. So let us close the browser and go back to Visual Studio one more time and then go to the index.c sharp HTML. In here on the start date, I'm going to use the to string method and I'm going to pass as a parameter the format of the date. So it's going to be DD, which stands for day of the month. Then we're going to have three M's and the three M's is the month abbreviation. And then at the end, we're going to have two Y's for the year for two digits. If you want, you can also have three digits four digits and five digits. Now let us copy this section, control C, and then just paste it in here, save all the changes. Then here on the badge section, so if the date time dot now is greater than the start date, but less than the end date, else if, and then here we are going to check if the date time dot now is greater than the item dot end date so if the movie has already been aired then in that case we are going to have another badge so control c then paste it in here and this badge is going to be let's say expired maybe so yeah just expired 
and this is going to be a bg dot and the class name is going to be danger and then at the end in here add the else condition so let us run the app one more time and then in here go to movies and then press enter you can see that all these movies are expired because the end date is in may 21. now let me just go to the database and change the date for some of the movies and here go to the server explorer then in here connect to the e-commerce app db then in here open the database then open the tables and go to the movies so right click then show table data I'm going to leave the first two movies to be in May, May 2021. Then the second two movies are going to be in September. So it started in May, but it's going to end in September. So in here, just nine. And then in here, we are going to also have the nine. So both of them are in September. And the last ones are going to start in September. So these are going to be upcoming. So nine is going to end in December. The other one will also start in September, but end in December. So 12. Before we restart the app one more time, let us go to the movies controller. And then in here, let us add an order by. So order by. And the order by will order them by default in the ascending order. And we are going to order them by the movie name. So in here, name, save the changes, and run the application. In here, let us go to the movies. And now in here, you can see that this movie starts in 24 September, so it's upcoming. This other one is available, and if you scroll down in here, and these two in here are expired. Now, the only thing that we have forgotten in here is the add to card. So let us go one last time to Visual Studio, and then in here go to the index.c-sharp HTML, scroll down in here to the card footer. We are going to modify the add to card. And the price in here is going to be price and then at item dot price and then dot to string and we're going to use the c so the c letter which stands for currency now let us save the changes and restart the app one last time in here let us go to the movies And now you can see that we have the movie prices, we have the availability, we have the start date, the end date, etc.